Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, today is the 14th of July. Almost half the year is, we're even passing through that and I just wanted to know how you are feeling. How are you doing since Apparently, not only in California, the entire country is going into a shutdown. Um, just yesterday, I was speaking to someone and she said that this has become very difficult for her son. Her son has gained over 10 pounds just in the last two and a half months. And why? Because they are confined at home, especially kids that they don't have. They live in an apartment. They can't get out. They can't go play. And not only gaining weight, but becoming more depressed because everything, they are separated from friends. They are separated from social activities. They are separated from playgrounds. This is affecting so many. And I am asking you, how is this affecting you? How are you coping and how are you doing? This is Lisa, your favorite expert hypnotherapist, and I welcome you to Heal Talk Tuesday. Today's topic is going to be not only COVID, not only how this is affecting you and how you are coping. I'm trying to check something here as far as the volume. And there we go. Making sure everything is good. Hello, Adrian. Hi, thank you for being here. Hello, Seda John. It's so good to have you all. Today, I want to talk about something called self-awareness. And what exactly is self-awareness, especially during COVID, when we are locked down, when we are not uh, amongst our friends, amongst our peers, we're not working, we're not in school. So how do we come to self-awareness and, and become aware of who we are, how we feel, and, uh, and how we cope with feeling depressed or even feeling in a funk being in a uh, in a low mood so i want to share something that happened i didn't realize that this entire thing has also affected me being at home with my mother and when she has been feeling depressed and one thing we're not realizing is not only adults, not only children, but seniors are affected by this so much more because here's the thing. They're saying, make sure that you don't go out and come in because the immune system of seniors is so, um, it, it's, it, it's um, what, what do we call it? that they are more in jeopardy of getting sick, right? So I, just like so many of us who live with seniors and yet go to work or do our, uh, do our regular things uh, like shopping, going to the bank, a minimal amount of work, and yet going home, even walking my dog and going back home and I have to make sure that everything is in place, that I wash my hands and everything. It's affecting my mother and so many seniors because they are not allowed to be out. And they have been said, family cannot visit you. That they have to do extra precautionary ways to safeguard themselves. Seniors are as affected, if not more affected. And it, it's a, the rippling effect on the ones who live with the seniors. 
I have another client of mine, not only one, but one of them who is truly going into a deep depression because she does not see any visitors other than her nurses. And she is crying every single day. We have to understand a part of self-awareness is recognizing this, who am I without my connections? Who am I without my peers? Who am I without and someone like my mother who used to read and cannot read because her eyes are not good and if they have a hearing problem, if they have respiratory problem, if they have heart problem, they have no other means other than nurses or doctors. So who am I gets distorted, let alone adults, let alone children without their schoolmates, with if, if there was a child, just like my friend last night, that her child has no sibling. You see, we get to lose identity. And if you have been in a position that you feel more depressed, you are losing your identity, you are in fear because of your not allowed to go out. to consider. What I do is I help my clients, I help you go from pain to gain. And what does that mean? That means we get so bungled up with our pain. It's as if, I don't know, do you feel this as if you are so engrossed in that negative thought pattern that you become so uh, depleted, feeling low emotionally, physically, mentally, that, that it's so hard to go upstream. It's so hard to see the light. It's constantly looking in the rear view mirror instead of looking to your windshield and moving forward with the car and constantly looking to see what's happening in the back. So a part of self-awareness and recognizing this is to validate what you're feeling. If you're afraid, if you're in a funk, if you feel depressed, if this resonates with you, just, just let me know, hashtag one. Because we need to talk, you need to talk, you need to express it. If you are feeling stuck and not knowing what to do for your senior parents, if you are feeling stuck and not knowing what to do for your children. I have been doing so many Zoom coaching hypnotizing my uh, uh, clients. Just, just two days ago, I had a medical doctor that I am helping her through a, her own funk. I have another client that I am helping because she needs to take her securities exam and she has already failed twice. Why? Because she feels as if she is stuck. And so many of us are feeling this, a feeling of, I am stuck, I am in a funk, I feel depressed. I don't know if I am doing this. Am I on the right track or not? Why am I even doing this? Because I can't take my exam. And another person who is supposed to take her, uh, another exam of being with, uh, it's like a clinical, and everything is posted, I mean, postponed and post uh, postponed to December, maybe even January. And yet she has paid for the schooling and not earning money. 
being at home. So all this, of course, it puts a damper on who we are. Believe me, I understand. I understand I'm not the only one dealing with these issues. I understand you're not the only one. I understand my clients are not the only one. I've got more clients now dealing with this COVID depression. Two of my clients are going through this divorce situation, wanting divorce, and yet not knowing if this is the right way or not. Here's what I call divorce to be damage control. One client was even crying because she said, I would do anything not to get divorced because it's got such a bad connotation, especially nowadays with the COVID and everything. If your home base is become intolerable, then do a damage control separation, not necessarily divorce. But understanding that divorce, oh my God, I remember going back to another time when I was getting a divorce, I was walking around feeling more depressed because that in itself, it means I failed. What did I do that I could not fix this? You see, when we get into a place that when it's not a success. We don't look at damage control. We go into this funk of why. The word in itself, when we question something with a why, it becomes depleting. It gives us a, a sense of, uh, the, the word in itself, why did I do that? That means I did something wrong. Why did this happen? It's a good thing to analyze it, but we go beyond analyzing why becomes fault finding. Why is analyzing towards the negative? So I want to empower you for you to empower yourself. And how do we do this is what if, just for today, if you were to take your life, the fears that you have, the misconceptions, if you feel defeated, turn the why to what. What, now that I know I'm questioning the why, instead of being in just eating myself up in the why, 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 why? What if for today I turn all that and ask myself, what can I do? What route, what decision, what choices that I made? What choices I made? What decisions did I make? What route did I take? What feelings did I feed to be where I am? And what can I do to change course? What can I do to help my child feel better? What can I do to bring more joy to my home? What can I do to empower myself, my mindset? It's like doing a reset internally. What can I do to make myself feel better? Because I do matter. My feelings matter. When I crushed and burned, I didn't burn. I just crushed something. And I felt as if I crashed. It crushed my heart to feel this way when I crashed. But if I am here and you are here, 
that means there was no burn. So instead of the whys, just for today, turn that self-awareness in becoming stronger and debunking that self-doubt by saying, what? What happened? And do come from love instead of judgment and criticizing yourself, belittling yourself. And just for today, what if you say, what can I do now? Okay, so this happened. COVID is in place. My fears for my mother, my fears for my siblings, my fears for my job, everything. Valid. So we evoked all the whys. It's time for you to embrace it and say, valid. That is the reality. What can I do to cope better? What can I do to change? What can I do to empower me? So here is a few suggestions that I have for you. Turning the why to what. And then here's another one. I want you to think of this word. You know how we go from pain to gain? I want you to recognize what is paining you. And by paining you, that means it has made it you feel powerless. You feel insecure. You feel the anxiety inside you. And you're in this negative world wind world that is going downwards. Does that make sense? And when you go into gain, that means you are ready to grow, to accept, to identify and influence yourself. And the M is to nurture yourself. This is what I do. I help you go from powerless to growth or gratitude. And how you do that is because the why is the powerless, the pain. We go to the what, which is the gain. And I help you get that through, I do it with hypno coaching. I do it through hypnotherapy for you to uh, boost your self-esteem to drop your weight or whatever it is to go and be the best version of you. When I say I'm your expert hypnotherapist, your favorite hypnotherapist, what do I do? Through hypnosis, we go from our conscious mind, which is analyzing, judging, criticizing, reasoning, to a level that we bypass that critical factor to drop into our subconscious mind, which I think is our gifts, which is the foundation where we have stored all our behaviors, our habits, fears, blames, shames, guilt, right? It's recognizing our weaknesses. That's where the whys are. And instead of feeding your weaknesses, I help you recognize it, close the door, and start empowering your strengths. Does that make sense? Hello, Karine. Hello, Annette. Adrian, thank you. You were the best. Oh, thank you. It's not about mulling and mulling in there and saying, I can't. There's one word 
that I have learned, you know, instead of saying I know, I use the word I don't know a lot. And did you see, I just did this. Oh my God, I just did this automatically. Do you recognize this? But by doing this, it's not a part of NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming, which I already know. Uh, I work with timeline, I work with NLP, I work with hypnosis, um, as your stress management, anxiety management consultant, counselor, certified in domestic abusive relationships. Before it gets to violence, it's abusive physically and mentally. And I want you to recognize one thing. I want you to become aware of when I say I don't know. And the moment I put my finger in here, and those are the things that I also look with my clients, either on Zoom or right here, is how they shift their body, how they come in as are they slouching or are they standing upright? And I help them sit upright. I help them stand up. And I can help you the same. Go from pain to gain. Go from why to what. Go from I don't know to I do know. Here's one word. If you constantly say I know, mm, you're closing the doors to knowing more. Because the best thing for you to recognize is knowing that you don't know all. Knowing that you don't know all. When I want to learn more about money, I have a powerhouse woman by the name of Virginia I go to. Virginia Narcissian. When I want to know more about coaching and business and everything, I have a coach. One of the best coaches. Karen Ellis. He's got the GPS to success. He's coaching me. I'm taking classes. He's coaching me. When I want to know about marketing, I go to Manny Lopez. He knows about marketing. When I want to have emotional connection and coaching, I have my coach for that. That every week, twice a week, I coach him, he coaches me. You know, when I want my banker, my banker at Bank of the West, I go to. I have powerhouse realtor, Rosa, I go to. We all have someone who is our go-to person. And I want you to realize when it comes to shifting your mindset to reset from the inside out, be it overeating, drinking, anxiety, fears, phobias, taking a test in itself, feeling that block. Think about who can I go to help me heal within? And think of me, Lisa. Not only I do the work, but I, I teach you. I help you understand what is happening. When I say I treat the whole, it's not that I hypnotize and get it done and then off you go. But understanding yourself and why to a what. What decisions made us be where we are. And remember, D is damage control. D also stands for having the distinction to discover something and discovering not only your insecurities to build on that, but discovering who you are and how you become better. That's it. Every single day, every step that you take. As a matter of fact, let's all do this. Let's all do this. Hi, Susan. Are you ready? No matter where you are, sitting, standing, stop for just to take a second. 
Take a nice deep breath with a smile and exhale. Another nice deep breath. Smile and deep and exhale. One more time. Nice deep breath. And place your hand as you exhale. And say these words out loud. And it doesn't matter who is around you, listening to you. Honor yourself for just a second. Just one minute. And say, I pledge. Say it out loud. I pledge allegiance to accept and appreciate myself far more deeply than yesterday. Today, I choose better, healthier, stronger, and more loving. I matter. Again, I pledge allegiance to accept and appreciate myself far more deeply than yesterday. And every day and every way, I become more loving, more appreciative, more giving, more open, more understanding, and knowing that I have choices. And today, I make the decision a better me, a healthier me, and a loving me, because I matter. <sighs> Doesn't that feel better? Recognizing that the best version of you is right here. So when you tap upon your chest, upon your heart, you awaken the little girl, the little boy. And it's like, where have you been all this time? Did you forget me? And you say, you matter. I'm right here. Turn your whys to whys. And stand up. And show up. This is Lisa Bubari. I hope this message for today was beneficial to you. You can always subscribe because you, if you type heal, I'm going to gift you something that I have never gifted before. Truly. Type heal and send it, text it to 818. 221-2797. And the for the five people who text me first. For the first five people. Five. Hello. Five. People who text me. Heal. H E A L. You are going to get something I have never given before. And I'm going to wait and see who are the first five people who text that. That's right. Heal. And congratulations to all of you for being present, being here, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Honor and accept and appreciate who you are far more deeply than ever before. My name is Lisa Bubari, your favorite and expert hypnotherapist. It's about time we heal within. Until next week, hugs and kisses over the Zoom. May God bless you and the universal light surround you. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, 
click right here. See you next time.